Hey, welcome to the Iron Ridge Outdoors channel. We're out here in the property, and uh, when you own a lot of property, one of the things you'll find is that you spend a lot of your time uh, moving items from one end of your property to the other end of your property. Uh, for example, right here, we just did our backyard, and we laid down a bunch of rock, and this was so our dogs can go outside. Uh, if it's a little bit wet outside, it won't get completely covered in mud and dirt when they're doing their duty. Now, the tool that we used to do this, move all this rock around, was a gorilla cart. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. And here is the gorilla cart. Now, I gotta say, the numbers on this thing are impressive. 1,200 pound load capabilities and a 500 pound load dumping capability. Now, the dumping is pretty dang sweet. It's not like a normal wheelbarrow. You've got a manually. Well, it's also manual. But on some of those, like, garden carts, there's no way to lift this up. On this guy, you come in, lift the latch up, drop your load on there, all your rock comes out, it's real nice. Come in and close it. Now, that's really cool. Um, it does add in some complexity and it also adds in some, oh man, the sun here is not great. Um, it also adds in some weakness spots because they are having to accommodate for those issues. Now. This cart, like I said, 1,200 pound loading capacity and a 500 pound dumping capacity. Now, what's also cool is it has a swivel handle. We can have this swivel out and hook it up to a tractor or a car, any hitch. So I was using my quad to move this thing around when I had the load of rock in it. And that was making the job a heck of a lot easier than walking around. Now, could you move it around? Like, how heavy was this to move around with 400 pounds in it? And I say 400 pounds because um, I was using about, you know, when I was doing the rock, using the shovel to fill it in, shovel full of time. I was counting about 40 to 45 shovelfuls um, to get this to, you know, about yay high on, on the fullness factor. And I was just kind of roughly estimating the shovel full to weigh about 10 pounds, 10 times 40, around 400. Now you can see I use the rock also in my little toy shack here that I need to paint. Um, but I put all the rock in here so my quads and my dirt bike didn't just sink into nothingness. Kind of gave it some, some stability in there. And all was well for about two months. Two months was all the use I got before something failed. Now on the packaging, boy do they do a good job of making this seem like super heavy duty, strong, awesome, 1,200 pounds. Not the case. Definitely not what you're getting in this cart at all. Um, and the issues arise on the axle. Now you can see at this pivot point, man, the sun is pretty gnarly here. Come to some shade, better view. There we go. So you can see on this axle here, they've got some reinforcements down at the bearing surface on the bottom, but they don't at the top, and that's where we ran into some issues. The bolt that goes through to have this pivot sheared off at the top, and it's only now being held by the smaller part on the bottom. That is an issue because now this has very wobbly front axle, it doesn't turn very well, and you're relying on the entire weight to be held on this bottom spot right here. So, how's your customer service? Called them up. Well, I didn't call them up. They got a website. I filed a claim. First, before I had done this, I had registered the product. Um, I'm glad I had the foresight to do that because I usually don't register the products. Um, but I registered this guy, got it all cleared away, filed the claim online, and they wanted your receipt. In order to even file the claim on this website, you had to have a picture of your original receipt. And I thought, crap. I don't have a freaking receipt for this thing. I bought it like two months ago. I hate keeping receipts. I throw those things on the way out of the door of the uh, of the store. Luckily, I bought it at Home Depot. Home Depot's got a pretty cool system where all their stuff is online. And so I was able to couple that with the information on here, like the lot number 
and the manufacturing date. It's all on here. Um, and got it through. A day later, they said, sorry about your issues. We're shipping you the new parts. I got the new parts today. Cool. They required to have your, your original purchase, proof of purchase. If you registered at the time of purchase, there is a lot number associated with your cart and the date of manufacturing on your cart. They could know if this was like three or four years old or you bought it second hand or something like that. Um, they give you a year warranty. The year is cool. It's not the greatest warranty, but I mean, it's, it's better than nothing. So I guess word of the wise, keep your bloody receipt. If you bought this at like a mom and pop... Um, local hardware store, I wouldn't have had the receipt and I would have been out of luck. And I would have just been like, well, I guess I'm going to do some hack job trying to fix this or just trash it or keep the bucket in, um, and just trash the frame. Um, not super cool on that, but they did send out new parts, so good on them. Bad on them for acquiring a physical receipt. Uh, that, that's kind of bogus. So, this cart... Is it the Super Duty 1200 pound Mamma Jamma? No, it's not. Um, is it good for gardening? Sure. If you want to put your plants and flowers in there and move it around your house, excellent. If you want to do some, maybe some tools in the back, maybe, you know, 100 pound loading. Um, hooking this up to anything powered, I would say nope. You're going to wear out that pivot joint in two seconds. And it won't last. So, buyer beware. Keep your blade receipt. Don't use this advertised because it will break. <laughs> it's a cool cart. I was super excited when I got it. The function of it is excellent. The execution of it is lacking, especially in that front pivot point. Now, if they fixed that with some reinforcement or a stronger bar or something, I think this would be a go-to cart, especially the price range. I mean, you got to realize you do kind of get what you pay for. It's only like $130. If you want to get like a nice off-roading cart, it's going to cost you probably close to 1000 So, I think my next one is to... Use this until it breaks again because the year is going to be coming up here pretty dang soon. And then I'll just keep the cart because the plastic tub and put that on. Um, I'll make my own my own cart. Because the plastic is nice because it, it keeps rocks and smaller debris like that from falling out. Versus if you had like a grate, it wouldn't really keep that in there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. I'm Roger Outdoors. Take care.